Hey everyone, we are here on the red carpet and you just performed here at the Keurig uh, Grammy after party. So tell me what the crowd was like, the vibe like here at the after party. I could hear them, I couldn't see a thing because I had lights <laughs> like this like in my eyes, but I could hear them, I hear you, it was amazing. So. So, so tell me about your live show, like if somebody hasn't seen you perform live, like what do you like to do to get the crowd hype? What do you like to be on stage to kind of get everybody into your music? I think the, 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 the most important thing is to give out some energy and give out some, some personality that people can, you know, go, wow, there's something else. Even if it's solo with a band, then solo I have this uh, added arsenal bag of tricks Yeah. that is a, is a combination of a step show and a circus freak show and uh, a guy with a guitar. And I, I use some pedals to kind of duplicate myself. Now, how did you shoot that music video? Because you're underwater in most yeah. of the music video. Like, how many takes are, are you just amazing now and you can just sit there and swim for hours underwater? Not for hours, no. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, I, my eyes were useless for yeah. weeks and weeks afterwards because <laughs> it's, it's chlorine, chloride water, water, and, and I was just, like trying to find the camera. But no, it was uh, basically, I had some weight uh, attached to my uh, weights in my shorts. Yeah as you do <laughs> and uh, so I just sat down and I tried to get to the course and uh, suddenly it seems I can hold my breath for a really long time. How did it feel when you first found out that you got nominated for the Grammy and then of course like you know Norway is such a small country and I'm sure your people were happy and you were happy uh, what was that experience like and who was the first person you called or text or told like oh my god I'm nominated for a Grammy? Well I got the call from uh, Patty at my my label Big Picnic and uh, I thought it was a joke <laughs> so I, uh, I texted my friend the internet and uh, he confirmed or she confirmed <laughs> it was true and then I, I had to call, call my wife and uh, I think I called my son too, I have a five year old. Damn, damn, <laughs> dad's nominated. Dad! He go, eh, I'm, I got some Lego. Piss off dad. <laughs> so <laughs> reality check. And then lastly, you know, you got the nomination. We have Am I Wrong? This song was played, I, Nico and Vince, I forget, um, the, all over the radio. Do you feel it's time, Norway? Norway's coming to the radio? Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's been like that for years. Our neighbors in Sweden have been just been churning out great pop music for decades. And then we've been in, in the backwaters a bit. Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's a great music scene in Norway. And it's a, I think it's about time it gets uh, U.S. recognition. Uh, but there's something about Nico and Vince, though. I mean, I I, I love that whole album, because yeah. it and I I love the fact that people associate Norway with that kind of music, which is a bit wrong, but I love it <laughs> nevertheless. Well, congratulations on all your success, and I Thanks. hope you had an amazing time at the the party tonight. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank Likewise. you. Likewise.